Darren Kent, passed away on August 11th at the age of 36. The cause of death is unknown. He was a British actor best known for his small role as Goatherd in the television series Game of Thrones. Mark Margolis died following a brief illness on August 3, 2023, at the age of 83. He was an American actor, best known for his role as the sinister, wheelchair-bound Hector Salamanca, who used a bell to communicate because he couldn't speak following a stroke in one of the best and most popular television series in history, Breaking Bad, and its prequel, Better Call Saul. He played this role from 2008 to 2011 and from 2016 to 2022. Mark Margolis also was known for his starring roles in films such as Scarface, Requiem for a Dream, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, Black Swan, In the Fountain. In total, he has appeared in more than 60 films. Mark Margolis is survived by his wife and son. Angus Cloud passed away on July 31st at the age of 25. The cause of death has not been revealed. It is known that in May the actor lost his father and had mental health problems. Angus Cloud was known for playing Fezco O'Neill in the American television series Euphoria for three years, from 2019 until 2022. In total, he has appeared in 16 episodes of the series. He wasn't an actor before being cast in Euphoria. He was walking down the street in New York when casting Scout noticed him. Angus Cloud also starred in the films North Hollywood, Your Lucky Day, Freaky Tales, and The Line. He also has appeared in various music videos. Paul Rubens died of cancer on July 30th at the age of 70. He was an American actor and comedian, most known for playing Pee Wee Herman, a character in a gray suit with a red bow tie and a mocking catchphrase, I know you are, but what am I? He played Pee Wee Herman in dozens of films and TV shows, including Pee Wee's Playhouse, Pee Wee's Big Holiday, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, and The Pee Wee Herman Show on Broadway. Paul Rubens also has appeared in films and TV series such as Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Flight of the Navigator, The Blacklist, Mystery Men, Midnight Madness, and The Tripper. His career spanned 55 years, from 1968 to 2023. Chris Peluso died on August 15th at the age of 40. He was a Broadway actor known for his work in productions such as Wicked and Mama Mia. Linda Haynes passed away on July 17th at the age of 75. She was an American actress who was perhaps best known for portraying Linda Forche in the 1977 American psychological thriller film Rolling Thunder. She also starred in films like Brubaker, Coffee, and The Drowning Pool. Jane Birkin died on July 16th at age 76. She was a French and British actress and singer. She was most known for playing Penelope Lanier in the 1969 film The Swimming Pool. Jane Birkin has also appeared in films such as Evil Under the Sun, The Last September, Death on the Nile, Boxes, and Same Old Song. Lelia Goldoni passed away on July 22nd at the age of 86. She was an American actress, most known for her starring role in the 1959 American independent drama film Shadows. She also appeared in the films Hysteria, Rainy Day Friends, Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, and Chain Link. Shelley Smith died of cancer on August 8th at the age of 70. She was an American model and actress. She was perhaps best known for playing Meredith Modess in the 1982 film Class Reunion. Patricia Braddon died on August 13th at the age of 88. She was an English singer and actress. Patricia was the first ever United Kingdom representative at Eurovision. As an actress, she has appeared in films such as 
left, right, and center, and 90 years on. Charlie Chaplin's daughter, Josephine Chaplin, died on July 13th at age 74. She was an American actress known for her roles in movies such as Escape to the Sun, Canterbury Tales, and A Countess from Hong Kong. Inga Swenson died on July 23, 2023. She was 90 years old. Inga Swenson was an American actress, most known for her role as Gretchen Krauss in the comedy series Benson. She played this character in 159 episodes from 1979 until 1986. Doreen Mantle passed away on August 9th at the age of 97. She was the British actress who has appeared in dozens of television series such as Coronation Street, Doctors, The Duchess of Duke Street, and The Wild House. Clifton Oliver died on August 2nd at the age of 47. He was an American actor. His most notable role was as Simba in the Broadway production of The Lion King. John Nettleton died on July 12th at age 94. He was an English actor known for portraying Arnold Robinson in the sitcoms Yes, Minister and Yes, Prime Minister. He has also appeared in TV series like The New Statesman, Screen 2, The Avengers, and Play for Today. Jeffrey Carlson was found dead at his home on July 6th at the age of 48. He was an American actor who played groundbreaking transgender character in the television soap opera All My Children. He also appeared in the films Back Seat, Hitch, and Plain Song. Johnny Hardwick passed away on August 8th at the age of 59. He was an American voice actor, comedian, and writer, best known for providing the voice of Dale Gribble in the animated sitcom King of the Hill. Robert Swan died of cancer on August 9th at age 78. He was an American actor known for his roles in the films Hoosiers, Backdraft, The Untouchables, and Going All the Way. Pamela Blair died on July 23rd at the age of 73. She was an American actress, best known for her roles in the TV series Another World, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, and All My Children. Nick Benedict died on July 14th at age 77. He was an American actor known for his role in the soap opera Days of Our Lives. Carlin Glynn passed away on July 13th at the age of 83. She was an American actress best known for her role as Brenda Baker in Sixteen Candles. Anita Carey died of cancer on July 19th at the age of 75. She was an English actress known for her roles in the television series Coronation Street and Doctors. Andre Evans died on July 9 at age 66. She has starred in popular soap operas. She played Rebecca Hotchkiss in Passions, Tawny Moore in The Bold and the Beautiful, and Tina Lord Roberts in One Life to Live. About the actors who died in the last few years, I told in one of my previous videos. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, hit the subscribe button to receive more like it in the future.